the nature of reality or your reality is based on the limiting beliefs that you hold within you. And these limiting beliefs literally shape how you perceive the world. If you're looking to connect with your guides, to make contact with ETs, to connect with loved ones who have passed on, you have all the tools within you already to do that. I'm going to show you how to unlock those in this video. So we think of our physical body as our identity, as who we truly are. And when we think of it in that manner, we are limiting ourselves to being a physical vessel separate from higher dimensional fields. And we're here operating only through our five senses. So the reality that we experience is one that we experience through our five senses because we have these beliefs that if we can't see, feel it, taste it, smell it, hear it, right? That it doesn't exist. So we go throughout our lives really focused narrowly, like you're looking through a tiny little straw on a reality that is just such a small percentage of a vast expanse of frequency bandwidth. For example, we see a very small um, aspect of visible of light. It's a visible light, but we could see with our eyes, right? That's what we experience, and that's what shapes our reality. Now, we know there are light frequencies beyond the visible spectrum. We've got ultraviolet, infrared, and x-ray, and gamma, and things like that, that we can't see. Now, we have equipment that can experience or measure those frequencies of light that are beyond the visible spectrum. But until we had that equipment, it was really only a belief that maybe they existed. Maybe it wasn't even a belief. Maybe it was just off the radar of humanity completely. Everything that existed was within that visible spectrum of light. But consciousness started to raise, right, and increase. And then the know-how to build equipment that can read or register these frequencies outside of the visible spectrum became real. It became a possibility. Okay, so all of a sudden, we were able to perceive through our tools and equipment, light frequencies that were beyond the visible spectrum. So as we continue to expand in consciousness, some of you have the ability or the know-how, just like those, the know-how to invent those those, the equipment and the tools to measure the ultraviolet, infrared, and gamma, you have the ability within you or the tools within you and the know-how on how to use them. Now, everybody has those tools. Everybody has the ability to experience frequencies beyond the visible, beyond what can be experienced through the five senses. The only issue is you don't remember how to utilize it. So, as consciousness expands, and we're in this situation now where with ascension, that consciousness in the human collective is increasing, it is on the rise, you will naturally start to move into frequencies that will remind you how to utilize these tools that you have within you, that you brought in. It's been locked away in your DNA. So the more you do that healing work, the more you get in and integrate and ground higher frequency aspects of you, the more your DNA unlocks the information that you now have the ability to process because you have reached a higher level of consciousness. So as you move along, these abilities will start to turn themselves back on. And really what's happening is you are just obtaining a level of consciousness or rising to a level of consciousness where you simply remember how to utilize them. So you start with a belief that maybe there are ETs, right? And we see some evidence of that in things. So it kind of gets our thought process moving. And we start to work through some of those beliefs that maybe at one point said, no, reality is only based on what I could see. But you've got this belief that there's more to reality than what you could see. And then you start to rise up in consciousness and you start to realize that you know. So it goes from a belief to a knowing that there's more to this reality that can be seen. OK, so you are unlocking the equipment, and the tools within you to be able to start to perceive energies that reside outside of what the five senses can really grasp and perceive. OK, so we're stepping up into frequencies where that happens. And as that happens, by doing the healing work 
and finding that stuck energy, the trauma-based density within the body and allowing yourself to process that and feel that you create more space within your body that allows you to ground more of your higher self, more of your divine light. Your body can then hold it. So more of your DNA unlocks and more of the instructions on how to perceive and communicate or interact with these higher dimensional fields starts to come back to you. It just kind of starts to happen naturally. And those of you who have gone through an awakening, spontaneous maybe, even a gradual, and started to return or your gifts started to come back online, we term them gifts, it's a limiting belief. It's like there's something separate than us that we're given. You inherently have this, all of you, within you. But as you start to do that healing work, you start to be able to hold more light. Your DNA then gets to a point where it's vi a vibrational match to the energy that's coming through you and it unlocks and you start to remember that you are more than this physical body. And with that remembrance, with that knowing, things start to light up your third eye, your intuition, your guidance, right? Maybe you start to get communications from your ET guides, okay? All that just starts to happen naturally, okay? So when we're sitting here and we're trying to do this, and we haven't quite reached the frequency to be able to do it yet, you're really resisting the healing process. So in order to really start to connect and really start to regain all of the tools and uncover all of the tools that you brought into this life with you, you need to start to work through that healing process. When you can ground and be able to hold and integrate more of your divine light, everything that you're searching for becomes inherently available to you. So there's no need to look for it out there. It's simply a matter of going back inside here and reconnecting with the truth of who you are. So if you have beliefs that you just know that there's something more that you're supposed to be doing, or there's something more out there that you can connect with, maybe you've lost a loved one and you know that they're there almost trying to connect with you. You can feel it deep inside. It's time you start leaning into those truths. We're on this upward climb in this ascension cycle. The energies are fully supportive of you to be able to remember and lean into this. And that feeling of knowing just deep in your gut that you're here for more than work in that career, or that nine to five job, that you know there's more than what your five senses are showing you or telling you, lean into that. Start connecting with your body. Again, when we can bring the attention from out there to in here, where everything is, everything you're looking for is within here, you start to be able to, again, create that space. And that leads into the healing work that I talk about in great depths on this channel. So if you're looking to get into that and bring it inside because you just feel that you're here for something so much greater then what your reality is showing you, make sure you start to watch some of my healing videos on this channel. That's going to get you in and it's going to activate all of these latent abilities. And I don't care who you are. Everyone has these abilities within them. They are who you are. They're part of who you are. They are not separate. You just have beliefs that are getting in the way. The more you rely on your five senses to explain or create reality for you, the less connected you're going to feel to these abilities, okay? So you need to start to release these beliefs that you are just this human avatar and that the only reality that you can experience, the only reality that exists is the one that you can experience with your five senses because we know beyond the physical bandwidth of visible light, there is so much more of a reality there. Now, when we look at our equipment that could show us these spectrums that lie beyond visible light, we're still limited by what that equipment can show us. You, on the other hand, are not limited. You have the ability to experience fields, dimensional fields, energy, source energy, the quantum field that lies beyond anything that the equipment and tools that humanity has today can read. Okay, you are limitless. So the key is to get into your body and start to work through that repressed density, that trauma, all that energy you've failed or refused or resisted processing 
over the years, when it comes up to be fully felt, you need to be present with that and feel it because that is your body's way of releasing that so that it can create more space to anchor in more of your light. And as your body rises in frequency as a result of that process, your DNA will naturally come online. More of it will activate. And everything that's been locked away in there, all the stuff that you brought into this lifetime with you, which is the history of everything that you've experienced in any incarnation, all of that stuff's locked within you. It starts to open up and return to your awareness and that includes all the abilities and the experiences that you've been trying to have or reach up to this point. It's all available if you go inside and create the space to be able to hold the light, to raise your consciousness so that you can experience it. Please share this video. If you know anyone it can help, like and subscribe and watch this one next. Thank you.